Hey guys, the Reese Viral here with a tutorial video on RPG Maker VX. I don't know, I'm not an RPG Maker VX now, but I will be in a second. This was requested to me by one of my friends known as Lemon Suckers Forever. Uh, he basically wanted to know how to make like a cutscene sort of thing within RPG Maker. Sort of something, I'll, the only way I can show this is by playtesting. I'll have to mute this because it'll be in the background otherwise. It's muted. Right, he wants to know how to make something along the lines of this. Like, the start for my game is an auto run event where you can name your character and all that jazz. But I think he wants to know how to make something along the lines. This will be lagging because I'm recording and everything. He wants to know how to make something along the lines of this. This is running on its own which is like a cutscene and basically that's what I'll be t showing you what to do so basically how you do it is right I might be best uh, starting up a new I'll just call it there we go there right all I'll need is that Right, who cares about that, and then an event, I'll just put someone here, okay, we'll make it, Ralph, yep, he can be stood there, um, then it'll be auto run, right, which will make the, the event run on its own, and so, with the event running on its own, what we will do, is make the character move, where's move character, I cannot remember, and I was only using this on Friday. There it is, set move route. Not event, this player. And it'll be one, two, I think. Hang on a minute, I just need to check. No, it needs to move up three. That's fair enough. You just do that and then you just go up again. There, right. So the character, our character will move up to him. And then, when we move up to him, what we want the character to do is this guy. Um just for this guy to say something. I'm not going to go into great depth with the thing, it'll just be like that. Right, that. This is just to show you the like gist of how to do it. Right, so that'll be hello, and then how I can make it look as if our character is talking back. Just do that. Uh, 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 da, 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 that, that one. Right, and I'll just show it. But because it's on auto run, yeah, save changes. What will happen... Ow. No! What a fail that was. Ah. <sighs> Sorry about that, I kind of completely failed because I didn't know this would come up like fully blast, full blasting. Alright, so if we start a new game. Alright, we'll move to him. He'll say hello. We'll say hey, how are you? But, because we haven't done anything, the game is like stuck and it's frozen. So the only way we can counter that is by going back onto the event screen like so. And then after you've done whatever it is that is in your event, be it moving, talking, anything, um, what you want to do is after all the dialogue, go on to this game, game progression, and then control self switch, and then put a self switch on, and then you do self switch, oh no you don't, you don't put it on the first event page, you do on it, you do it on the second event page, and then just put the self switch A is on and then you can change the dialogue to like what you want. Yeah, I think. And now if we test it. However, I need to just shush for a second. Right, you probably won't hear me in a sec, but I'm only gonna try and mute this. No, oh, no, never mind. It's uh, already muted, so that's great. Right now, if we try it, right. Hello, how are you? 
we can move around and yeah run and if I talk to him again he says what do you want and the, yeah that is it and I'm actually thinking like since I got a request for this um, just how to do the event um, I was thinking whether or not to start up a sort of series which isn't LP it's which isn't an LP obviously what the um, series would be showing would be me like giving a tutorial on RPG Mega VX Ace because I'm not the best at it but I do know quite a lot about it and um, yeah it I think I might just do like a tutorial on how to basically make a basic game and stuff and how to do side quests and all that jazz however I do need to sort of get to grips with variables and stuff switches I've got a hot I've got um, used to variables not so much but yeah that's it for this tutorial so I hope you ing ho hope you guys have enjoyed this and lemon suckers forever I hope this has helped you in your RPG maker endeavors and yeah until next time I've been the Reese viral take care guys